Well, Darren, you mentioned yesterday when you were asked which team y'all are, that you're both teams, if you put it on film, you're both teams. How do you become more like the team yesterday than two weeks ago? Uh, just locking, locking in. Guys staying focused. Guys doing their job. Uh, I feel like uh, against Green Bay, uh, we kind of got away from that. Uh, guys trying to make every play when, uh, instead of just making the play that's, that's meant for them to make. Uh, so uh, I feel like if we just get back to and continue to do what we did last night where guys are just locked in and worried about winning their individual battle, I think we'll be fine moving forward. What did it mean for you to break down the team after a game like that in the locker room and dominate the process? Where did you get that? From? Uh, that's just the whole thing we talked about uh, coming into the week is just dominate, you know, just – just having a dominant performance, uh, and you know it's it's it's, it's that way with everything. Uh, with everything you do, your recovery, you know your film study, it's just dominating that process. Uh, you know, just taking complete dominance over it. You know, whenever you can get film study in, watching film. Whenever you can, sit down and stretch for a moment or two. Do that, or you know, just complete domination when it comes to your physical your physical outlook on getting ready for that weekend. Your mental. Last week you said that this team needed a, a gut check. you feel like that's what y'all showed yesterday? And how do you maintain that if so? Uh, I think it just came from guys looking in the mirror and just understanding that, uh, you know, in order for, for our team to be better, you know, an individual has to be better. So, uh, you know, I think guys just looked in the mirror and just understood that, you know, all of us had to get better in order for us to go out there and do what we did last night. And, uh, you know, it's just going to continue to pay off as long as we keep that mindset. You'll have another chance this week to see what you can do as a run D, a guy like Saquon coming in. We're all already on to Giants film today, and how do you prepare for it? Uh, really just, just swarming to the ball, just getting to the ball. Uh, you know, it's a short it's a short week, so a lot a lot of, a lot of these Thursday night games uh, throughout the week, it uh, just comes down to mental. Uh, just playing last night and, and now having a quick turnaround and playing on Thursday, it's all about mental, just knowing where you need to be and where you need to fit and, and just really honing in on the small things in the game plan. I saw you kind of like Daniel Jones for a little bit like first game against you guys. How important is this to keep him in the, in the pocket more so than the first game? Uh, uh, Daniel Jones, he's a, he's, a, he's a phenomenal quarterback when it comes down to things breaking down and him using his legs. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a pretty, pretty mobile quarterback when it comes to that. Uh, like I said, uh, everything, everything, you know, coming from me just boils down to guys doing their job. Uh, coach is going to put us in the best position to go out there and stop what they do, uh, whether it be him scrambling, whether it be Saquon running the ball, or him dropping back to pass the ball. Uh, you know, if we just do our job and keep our eyes on our keys, uh, we'll be fine. Uh, you know, keeping him in the pocket will be something that that's good that 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 that, a benef that we'll benefit from when it comes down to him getting out the pocket. You guys always seem to do well in the passer against the wall. But how do you maintain that sort of level of aggression when things are good? Uh, our backs are still against the wall. Uh, you know, we want that number one seed, and right now we don't, we're, we're not there. So our backs are still against the wall. Uh, we're still out there hunting uh, to get something, and you know, guys are going to show up. Uh, we're going to go out there with that same hunger we had last last night and uh, get the job done. You guys got a lot of guys sick on that deeper side of the ball. How do y'all keep that? Uh, you just gotta take care of yourself. Uh, you know, when you're when you're when you're around here, you know we're tight, we're tight, we're a tight knit group. But you just gotta understand uh, the things that set jeopardy when it when it comes down to being in those groups and understanding that you know a guy can be sick and then maybe pass it to you or whatever the case may be. So you, know, you just have to be smart, you know, and understanding that you know it's a quick turnaround. So you know if a guy gets sick on Tuesday. You know, he doesn't have until Sunday to, to recover. He, you know, it's it's going to be right back on us on Thursday. Are y'all wearing masks? Are y'all doing anything in meeting rooms or no? Uh, you know, that's 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 up to the individual. You know, uh, if a guy wants to wear a mask, he can wear a mask. But uh, it just boils down to, you know, you you know what's right. You know what you need to do. Uh, you know, if you know a, a guy's sick, you got to stay away from him. How do you get used to that new helmet? Thanksgiving Day. Uh, no, no, it's just a it's just a helmet. Uh. You know, that's, that's, I don't really know how to answer that question. Do you like the look? Do you like the throwback look? Yeah, I love it. I love it. Uh, it, looks, it looks good. And, uh, you know, it'll look even better. We get a W to go with it. So, you know, it's, I'll tell you how good it looks after, after the game. What's it mean to play on Thanksgiving to you? Uh, I've always played on Thanksgiving uh, since I've been in the league. Uh, I live in Minnesota, uh, Detroit, and then here. Uh, you know, I've just always played on Thanksgiving. So, 
you know, it's, 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 it's a big time game. Uh, you know, everybody's sitting in front of the TV waiting for that first game to come on, the second one, and then that nighttime game. Uh, you know, you, all eyes are on you, you know, when you're on that field. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a big stage uh, for, for the guys that's on that field to go out there and, 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 make, and make some big plays. How big of an advantage is it to be the home team? And I know it's different than the old days when you didn't normally play on Thursdays. That's more common, of course, now. But is it still an advantage to have that short week at home? Uh, it definitely is. Uh, you know, just having having the home the home crowd there. Uh, you know, guys have family in town. You know, that's going to be there, and it's you know, it's just a it's just a huge a huge huge moment for a lot of us. Uh, you know, being that you know we're going to have family in town, they're going to get to come to some coming to their first game. So uh, you know, I think it's a huge momentum momentum thing for us and uh, a good a good advantage for us. Giving memories of playing on things or not playing, but watching things getting games run up. Uh, I don't have one particular memory. Uh, you know, I, I remember watching Detroit a lot. Uh, you know, I just just watching them, watching Calvin Johnson. I remember some of the some of the big games he had on Thanksgiving, and uh, that's really my only memory. You know, it's just all about. You know, I used to, I just enjoyed the the time around family and just sitting and watching football. Thank you, man. Thank you. Right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.